Hello everybody, welcome to another video. You're really close, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, we're in the arena again. Today's Monday, so if you've been watching the vlog before, uh, Monday is a speed day. So today we have a bunch of sled pulls, which will be good. I really enjoy doing sled pulls, just like working on that like drive phase and stuff. Um, and then Carol probably has some med ball or something. And then I have a bit of high jump um, from I think a little bit farther. So that'll be good. Kind of see how it's going. It's been feeling good and like I've been jumping well. So it'll be a good little indicator. Came more prepared today, have like three layers on. It's not too cold in here and have the mitts, have the hand warmers. So yeah, we're gonna start warming up and then getting into the workout and I'll tell you what it is when we get there. So. Let's go. So a little bit change of plans. So I'm gonna do uh, high jump before sleds, just because like sleds are gonna kill me. So um, I'm all warmed up now. So I'm gonna put on my high jump spikes, do a couple drills, and then get into it. So it's uh, jumps from four strides and then jumps from eight, which is full approach. And Carol's gonna be doing her sleds, so I'll be on the GoPro, she'll be on the big camera. So, yeah, here we go, let's have a good practice. Okay, we are all done at the track. Um, yeah, we're just at this computer place because Caroline's computer like was being super, well, it's been really dumb lately. Like the screen's been on and off. It's like really slow. So yesterday it like kind of crashed, like half crashed. So we're needing to get it fixed. Um, anyways, practice was good. Um, we had to change high jump a little bit for some reason my knees well my knees are usually sore um sometimes but for some reason today they were really sore um and going from four strides i could just like feel it so that's why the jumps weren't going very well because like i knew it was gonna hurt so it's hard to put like full effort into it but i was still trying to like hit positions and stuff so when i got back to eight they were just like way too sore so we just decided to do approach runs because that was the first time going from full approach 
so it was good to actually just be able to get approach runs in um, and then finished with the uh, sled pulls so both Caroline and me did two sets of three reps back and forth with a higher weight and then one rep of four with a lower weight and here she comes Hello. so yeah uh, Kara's here to tell you about her practice um I had sleds as well. Yeah. We're in we're in a work capacity week, so it was a bit of a doozy. I think it was a total of three, six, ten reps over thirty meters? Twenty meters. 30, I don't know. Thirty meters. Um some of the poles were at thirty-five pounds, some of the poles were at twenty-five pounds, but definitely added up in the end. It was a good hard workout. Then we had some med ball, some general strength. Um, it was a really good little session. I'm happy with it. I went into it with this refreshed, renewed mentality that I decided to adopt for this year, which is don't look at the next seven months as though they have to be absolutely perfect for me to reach my goal, but tr just try to make just try to make every single individual day as perfect as possible and then in the end that will add up um so i just tried to get everything i could out of today and i think that i did that and i'm really happy with it that'd be a long mon mantra to tattoo on yourself like a full, full <laughs> i'm sure there's a condensed version um piece by piece or something like that anyways uh yeah so now recovery is the name of the game for the next 22 hours because I have a big jump session tomorrow. So we're gonna go home, we're gonna Ramwad. Um, if you guys are not very uh, diligent about your stretching, I would highly recommend Ramwad. We are in no way sponsored by them or associated with them, but we have really enjoyed um, their programming um, and it makes us like really be good about staying on top of our stretching and flexibility would you agree yeah i think because we're paying for it as well um you like don't want to not use it because you're paying for it it's like we're on top of like physio and stuff like that but like stretching it's just kind of like blah sometimes so it, it's good is what i'm saying also it's a really funny like state of the times when we're willing to pay money for a stretching program because we're actually quite cheap, but like, speaking of mantras, 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 mantras. speaking of mantras, um, this year we're like, this is the year, let's go all in, let's not spare any expense, anything that's going to help us be better, let's do it, and like, that escalated to a point, wow, that was a great dog, it escalated to a point where apparently now, we now pay someone to tell us how to stretch, but anywho, anything else you want to say about today? We're just, uh, yeah, we're gonna go home, we're gonna rest up and have some pulled pork for dinner. So I have that to look forward to and probably won't take you to the track tomorrow because we have quite a few vlogs in the making right now. Would you agree with that? Yeah. So we will see you again in a few days. Okay, take care, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.